Hello and welcome back in this series of videos about the graphic editor in App Cooker. Now we are going to have a look at the interface of the bitmap drawing. Uh, this is something I really like because it helps me to be like super productive and it's very flexible and you will be able to see what I'm, what I'm telling. So we are in the Flappy Bird. This is a very simple screen I designed. I'm going to enter this screen. I'm going to show you how, how the bitmap editor is working. So basically, this is a drawing that I just made in the drawing editor. And I made it in a big uh, size. So then I was able to take it and resize it and put it here. And it looks like, you know, the Flappy Bird stuff. You can also do another thing, another thing here. You know, I designed this square like this, and then I used it and tile it to recreate that kind of, you know, um, soil or whatever you say it. So um, let's have a look at how it's working. We're going to draw some uh, clouds behind this. So I go in the shape, and here I just tap once and this big square appear as you can see this square is here 256 per 256 points so the, here there are two ways of doing it either you can zoom in because you won't be able to zoom in a lot when you are in draw, when you are in the bitmap drawing editor so what i do is i usually make it like you know kind of big very big and then I can, here I can select a color. I'm going to, at the bottom of the, here, as you can see, they are, here is the palette. Uh, then you have the RGB color. Then you have the HASB. So it's hue, saturation, and brightness. So it's really cool when you want to have some shades of, you know, more saturation, more brightness. Um, and here is the gray color, the grayscale mode. So the grayscale mode is pretty cool. So I'm going to use this, uh, you know, like 10 over there. I'm going to use 10. I'm going to add it in my color palette. I'm going to use like 30. I'm going to add it to my color palette. I'm going to use like something like kind of dark, like a 70, and add it to my color palette. So now I go back to the, um, you know, the lightest. Then I can choose here at the bottom whether I am drawing or I am erasing. But what I want to do is drawing. And I'm going to select something that is kind of bigger, you know, like maybe around, yeah, 21 pixels. And I'm going to draw that over there like this. And I'm going to do this and this. I'm going to be like very rough, very, very rough because it will be like, you know, shrinked after that. So I don't really care if it's perfect or not. Remember, we are we're in a mock-up editor, so you don't need to take the time to make the thing the things perfect. You know, you can just like go very, very quickly. So now I'm going to use like something smaller. And I'm going to do this and this. Like that. I'm going to give a little bit more depth that the clown, I'm not a super, super cool and great illustrator, so I'm doing my best here to give you a quick look at what you can achieve. And then I'm going to take this one, I'm going to resize it even smaller, just to give like, you know, a bit of more depth. And as you can see, this is really rough and it doesn't look very good right now, but when I'm going to resize it, it's going to be it's it's going to be okay. So that's it. Now I tap outside, and then I can resize the cloud. And when I put the cloud over there, as you can see, you know it's pretty good. So I can duplicate the cloud here. It's on top of it. So I'm going to take the transformation bar that we've seen in the previous uh, video. I'm going to put it on top of it. I can also stretch it a bit. We're going to take this, put it in front of it. And yeah, that's, that's, um, it's, it, I, I, I love it. So it's, uh, it's up to you now to, to do everything you want. It, it, I also use it like, 
I'm going to do that and then I'll leave you my okay. I use it to design my icons. So when I don't find the icon I want or if it's not available right now, what I do is I take this, I go into black, design with something like around 19, 20 pixel, and then I'm drawing an icon like that like you know the new export icon for iOS 7 and I do it like that like super big and then I resize it and then you know you're good to go so that's really handy really powerful because as you can see it's a bitmap drawing but it's acting like an object that you can resize duplicate time and do whatever you want thank you for watching